guys, welcome to Kids Life Online. My name is Carol Ann and I'm your online host. Um, the timer's going off. Hi guys. Uh, hi. Are we right in the middle of Kids Church? Yeah, I just started Kids Church and I know I've got three pies in the oven, two turkeys and some stuffing. But it's, it's Thanksgiving week. The timer's going off. You said you were making me some pies. I am a little busy. But I'm so thankful for you. <laughs> I'm so thankful for you. And um, I'd like for you to get in the kitchen and make me a pie. I'll be there in like five minutes. Can, can you handle it for five minutes? So you want, you want me to get the pie? If you could get the pie out of the oven. I'm not a baker. It, open the door, pull the pie out, put it on the counter. That's all I need you to do. One thing. I've got it. I've you've got, got it. it. You've got it. You've, you've got it. You've, you've got it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm just having a rough day. I've got so much to do. It's Thanksgiving week. And I know that I am here right now doing kids' life. And we are learning all about being thankful and grateful. But honestly, right now, it just doesn't seem fair. I have to do all the cooking. I have to do all the cleaning. I have to get my house ready. And I, you know what? I think I need to adjust my attitude. Of course, it's our point today to adjust your attitude. And I need to adjust mine. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair that we have to do everything. But you know what? Our memory verse says, give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. Psalms 136.1. So you know what? I need to be thanking God for all the good he's doing in my life, even when it doesn't really seem fair or like that everything is going good. There always is something because you know what? I'm really busy, but I'm really busy because I get to be with the people I love this week. We're going to cook and we're going to be thankful together and we're going to spend time praying and thanking Jesus for all he's done in our lives this month. And Today, I'm here with you guys. I have so much to be thankful for, even if it doesn't seem like I'm getting a lot of time to myself or it seems unfair that I'm having to do everything because whether you're an adult or you're a kid, this week can get a little hectic. So just take some time and be grateful. Today, our Bible story kind of comes out a little unfair and we're gonna look at what could keep us from being grateful and some of the reasons why we should continue to be grateful anyway and thank God for all the good he's done in our lives. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, the real hero of tonight's game. That's, that's me. Uh, it was do or die time out there tonight, but John did what John does. He, uh, he wins. He, he brought his A game. He, uh, he came to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you know, uh, you just, you just got to take it to the next level, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got to go out there and step it up. I mean, when your back's against the wall, you overcome adversity with a uh, tremendous amount of uh, athleticism. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, it, it wasn't a bed of roses out there tonight, no. But uh, sometimes you, you got to look through the rain to find the rainbow. Um, when life gives you lemons, you, you make lemonade. Uh, yesterday is history, but tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. And that's why they call it the present. <laughs> hmm? No. Uh-uh. Never give up uh, is what I'm trying to say. Never uh, give up. Never, uh, ever, ever, ever give up. Um, uh, what? Uh, give up? No. No, never. Uh, did not think about it ever, never. To give up is never, ever. And I never, ever uh, gave up. Don't give up. That's what I'm trying to say. All I asked is how your game of solitaire went. Uh, no more questions? Thank you.
everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. Say, hey, John. Yes, Brandon. Hey, how, how was your day yesterday? Uh, it was good. Oh yeah, anything particularly fun or interesting that our viewers might enjoy hearing about? Um, oh, I had to do the same load of laundry three times because I kept forgetting to add soap to the machine. No, anything else? Our soccer game? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, nah, no, nah, you know what? No one wants to hear about that. No, come on, tell him. Tell him, tell him, please. Come on. Okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, Brandon and I joined a soccer league and got placed on the same team. And... <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, John. We had our first game yesterday, which was my first ever soccer game I've never played before. And I was Awesome. Tell him what I did, John. Tell him, you know the lingo. You've been playing your whole life. Tell him. I, I don't really think they were. I scored the winning goal. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, my chair. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all right. Uh, uh, no, I did. I did. I did. I, I kicked the ball, and it went into the uh, the goal thingy, right? Listen, I, I mean, I mean, the ball bounced off your foot. Yeah. Bounced yeah. off your foot. Uh huh and then went into the goal, I sure. Know. But really, you just got lucky because the goalkeeper sneezed right when you when the ball bounced off of your foot, and that's why he was unable to make the save. No, I, the goalie didn't sneeze. That's the I, only possible explanation, Brandon. There's a way you can score a goal on purpose. Trust me, I know the difference between somebody who shot okay. a goal on purpose and someone who made a lucky shot. Okay, that was not luck, my friend. That was pure skill. Come on, don't feel bad, kiddo. I don't feel bad, I don't feel bad. Did, did, <sighs> did you just call me kiddo? You heard me, chief. Look, just because I'm better at soccer than you is no reason for you to get all- Better? I'm jealous. Better? Yeah, you no, think you're I better did. than me at soccer? You, you, who's never I even mean, seen, you thought I, you, 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 you threw the ball. The okay, you know what, you know what? Stand up, right now. What, My, me, why? Just do it. All right, oh, okay. All right, it's time it. for a penalty kick challenge. I want you to prove that your winning goal wasn't just a lucky shot. Okay. Hands. What? Forget it. <laughs> I want you to show that your pure skill and get a shot. No, you have to wait for the whistle. Huh? I don't. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hands. What? Hands. <laughs> On the line. Wait for the whistle. Right. Are you gonna blow the whistle? No. It's not fair. Why is that not fair? Because I played soccer my entire life and you play it for one game and you score the winning goal. And then everybody's cheering for you and they start chanting your name and it should be my name. They're chanting my name, my name, my name, my oh, name. Come on, John. Maybe they'll chant your name next time, buddy. Listen, hey, if you want any pointers, I'd be happy to take 15 minutes. Take just 15 minutes. Up. I would like to teach you. I can molt. You don't have, you don't have to be. It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey guys. Hey Cameron. Hey, it's been great having you this month while our friend Kellen's been away. Yeah, totally. What do you have for us today? Today we've got a parable that Jesus told. A parable, if you didn't know, is like a story with a lesson. You can read this parable yourself in the book of Matthew chapter 20. Or you can stick around and watch me tell it with the help of the So and So Show players. <laughs> Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who owned land. Ha, look at my beautiful vineyard. <laughs> I wonder what a time it is. <laughs> ah, this is the first thing in the morning. <laughs> I should hire people to work for me today. So he went out and hired people to work in his vineyard. He agreed to give them the usual pay for a day's work. Hey, uh, do you wanna work for me today? I'll pay you the usual pay for a day's work. 
that'd be great. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. The vineyard is that way. Oh. About nine o'clock that morning, the owner went out again to find more workers. Hey, hey, you. If you work in my vineyard, I'll pay you what's right. Sounds good. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. You look like the same guy I hired this morning. Uh, no, 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 different guy, because I got a different hat. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, the owner went out again at noon. And again at three o'clock. And the owner went out one last time at five o'clock when the workday was almost over. Oh, you don't have a job yet? No, Daddy O, nobody's hired me yet. I'll hire you. Groovy. Right on. When evening came, it was time for the workers to be paid. The workers who were hired at five o'clock were paid first. And here's the usual day's pay for you. Groovy. And here's the usual day's pay for you. And here's the usual day's pay for you. And here's the usual day's pay for you. Cool. Then it was time to pay the workers who were hired the first thing that morning. They saw what the other workers had been paid and they were getting excited. Whoa, man. If he's paying them that much for only working part of the day, I'm gonna get a whole lot more money. <laughs> and here is the usual day's pay for you. Yeah. Wait, what? No, this is the same amount that you paid that guy. You hired that guy at five o'clock. He's only been here for like an hour. I have been in that hot sun all day long. I should get way more than this. My friend, I'm being fair to you. <gasps> Did you not agree to work for the usual day's pay? Uh, well, I mean. I want to give the one I hired last the same I gave you. Do I not have the right to do what I want with my own money? Well, uh, I, I mean. Take your money and go. <laughs> <laughs> And that, my friends, is how Jesus' parable ends. Give it up for the so-and-so show players. Good story, Cameron. Yeah. Didn't you say it was supposed to have a lesson at the end? Sure. I think that story can tell us a lot about what it means to have gratitude. Look at the worker who was hired first. He was so focused on what the other workers were getting paid, he forgot to be grateful for his own pay. Yeah, he had a lousy attitude. He did, but we do too sometimes, right? We want what other people have, and when we don't get it, we complain and say it isn't fair. Yeah. Yeah. Or when we do have what other people want, we brag and show off and try to make other people feel bad. Yeah. I think the important thing to remember is that God has given all of us so much. We just need to try and be grateful for it. Right as always, Cameron. Thanks. Anytime. See you guys later. Bye, Cameron. John, I think we might need a little attitude adjustment. I know. I mean, maybe my soccer goal was a lucky shot. I, I shouldn't have bragged so much. And I should have been more grateful. I mean, we won the game because of you. I'm grateful for you, John. And I'm grateful for soccer. And also you. Reveal the question! Oh, what is keeping you from being grateful? Yeah, what are some things that can get in the way of our gratitude? Yeah, think on it. Chew on it. Chat on it. And we will catch you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was the So and So Show. They'll be doing this in 10 years.
like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that.